An American believed to be held captive in Iran may have been there for seven years on an unapproved CIA mission. That according to an Associated Press investigation. Well, this is Robert Levinson. His family and the State Department claim he has no ties to the government. This afternoon, the White House saying the same thing. Bob Levinson was not a U.S. government employee when he went missing in Iran. As there is an ongoing investigation into his disappearance, I am not going to comment further on what he may or may not have been doing in Iran. Uh, I'm not going to fact check every allegation made in the story you reference, a story we believe it was highly irresponsible uh, to publish and which we strongly urged uh, the uh, outlet not to publish out of concerns for Mr. Levinson's safety. Ralph Peters is a retired Army intelligence officer and Fox News strategic analyst, and he's my guest today. Great to see you, Ralph. Good to see you, Gretchen. So what are we to make of this? We have the White House today now responding to this AP article that, in fact, Levinson was working for the CIA, and Jay Carney point blank saying, no, he wasn't. So who's right? It's almost impossible to tell. But I can tell you this, Gretchen, that... I do, God help me, I agree with Jay Carney on one point, and that's it's a shame this story was headlined, that the story was published, because it makes it almost impossible to get this guy back, if indeed he's still alive. Um, as near as we can tell from the information available, is that some people in the C at the CIA jumped the fence. Analysts jumped into the operational side, the clandestine side. They had no right to be there. Work at the CIA is every bit as compartmentalized as, as in a hospital, for instance. An anesthesiologist don't do surgery. And to run agent nets, to run sources in a, in a hostile country, takes a very special breed of cat and a special skill set. Hmm. But you had analysts that reportedly running this rogue operation, this guy totally off the reservation, even though that's a cliche, and he committed the, the fateful and fundamental mistake, something you never, never do. He went to hostile territory, to an Iranian island, mm. to debrief a source. You make the source come to you. you should, a source should have come to Dubai or, or, okay, or Qatar. But, but, but no, but Jerry, if I just may, it tells me that the Iranians had this set up from the beginning. I see. Well, well, let me ask you this. The AP apparently knew this story three years ago. They did not report it because the government asked them not to. Why would they report it now? Do they think he's dead or what? Well, could it be ambition? Um, or could it be that maybe they feel they're helping the family because, frankly, the Obama administration has done nothing serious about it? Mm. I mean, before we entered nuclear negotiations with Iran, we should have demanded that this guy be returned to the United States. And Interesting. In, before the story broke, it, Iran could have done it quietly. Now it's an international issue. Well, there's several prisoners, including that minister yes. who's also at uh, Evan Prison there, and that was no part of the negotiations as well. Uh, Ralph Peters, we've had breaking news today. i got to wrap it there. Thanks so sure. much. Thank you, Gretchen.